Hi, welcome to Baz Maths. My name is Fazana. Let's do some wordy questions involving simultaneous equations. These questions look tricky in exams because sometimes it's difficult to recognize that the questions are simultaneous equations. So anytime you have two unknowns, like the cost of an adult ticket and the cost of the child ticket, or you don't know the weight of an apple and the weight of a melon, think simultaneously. In my previous videos on simultaneous equations, we know that the aim of the game is to eliminate one of the unknown letters, solve, and then solve for the other letter, and then check to see if it works. Let's take some examples. Okay, so the most typical ones are cinema tickets for four adults and two children cost £34. Cinema tickets for eight adults and five children cost £72. How much does an adult ticket cost? Okay, so let A be equal to the cost of an adult ticket. And let C be the cost of a child ticket. Okay, so four adults and two children cost 34. So we go 4A plus 2C equals 34. And 8A plus 5C equals 72. Okay, I'll just put a star there and uh, a T there, and I'll let you know why later. Okay, so um, what I do is I always um, deal with the second letter. Um, and here you can tell for 2C and 5C to be the same, we have to find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5, which will be 10. So I'm going to multiply this whole line by 5 and this whole line by 2. So I'm going to get 20A plus 10C equals 170. And multiplying that one by 2, I get 16A plus 10C equals 144. Okay, because the signs are the same here, we minus and we're ready to play. So 20 minus 16 is 4a, and you're gone. And 170 minus 144 is 26. And then we divide by 4, and you get a equals 26 divided by 4, which is um, 6 pounds. Okay, so A is £6.50. So we'll go in there to solve um, the C. So 4 times A, which will be the 26, plus 2C equals 34. We minus the 26 and we get 2C equals 8. Divide by 2 and C will be Okay, and the reason I put the T here is I always test it. So 8A will be 52, because 4 of them was 26, and then plus 5 times the C, so 5 times 4 is 20, and that comes to 72, and that agrees with that, and God, I'm good. So the question was, how much does an adult ticket cost? So the adult ticket costs £6.50. Okay, I hope that was quite easy. If not, then just um, hide my answer, try to do it again, and then just work with me until you understand. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, the sum of two numbers is 66. The difference between the numbers is 8. What are the numbers? And let the numbers be x and y. Form two equations and solve. So if the sum of two numbers is 66, then x plus y 
must be 66. And the difference between the two numbers is 8. So x minus y must be 8. OK, we're actually ready to play because we've got 1y and 1y. But because the signs are different, we're adding. So we've got 2x, you're gone. And then 66 plus 8 is 74. Divide by 2 and x will be 37. And then it's really easy to go and um, solve your y in there. So 37 plus y equals 66, and you can tell y will be 29. Okay, and then go test it in there. 37 minus 29 equals 8. Oh yes, God, I'm good. Okay, as easy as that. Um, if they didn't say form two equations and solve, the way I normally um, solve this problem is if anything's um, less than or more than, um, then I actually remove it. So I'd go 66 minus the 8, which would be 58. And if there wasn't a difference, then both the numbers would be the same. So then I know that each of the numbers would be 29 and 29. And then I would add what um, one of them was more than or less than. So then I'd add back the difference and I'd get 37. And you can see that works. So if you have a question like that and they don't ask for it simultaneously, so they don't say form two equations, you can always do it that way. Much simpler. <laughs> okay, let's take another example. Okay, Amir has 23 coins in his pocket. Some of them are 5p coins and the rest are 10p coins. The total value of the coins is £2 and 5p. Find the number of 10p coins. So again, let x be the number of 5p coins. And let y be the number of 10p coins. OK, um, and he's got a total of 23 coins. So you can tell x plus y will be equal to the 23. And the value of them um, will be 5p times the number of coins. So you can see you've got 5x and then 10p times the number of 10p coins, so 10y equals. Now, with this £2 of, and 5p, it's easier to actually convert it into pence, so you've got 205, okay? And you can tell we'll have to multiply this whole line by 10 to make that 10y. So we've got 10x plus 10y equals 23 times 10 is 230. We're ready to play and we're going to minus, but this time I'm actually going to do it that way. So you can tell 5x, because I don't want any negatives, <laughs> 230 minus 205 is 25, so x equals 5. And go solve it in there. So 5 plus y equals 23, and you can tell y would have to be 18. Okay, all right, let's test it in there. So 5 times 5 is 25, and 10 times 18 is 180, and you get 205, and oh my god, I'm just so good. God, I'm good. All right, I hope that was um, really easy. Okay, let's do something a little bit more, um, just a little different. Okay, I'll just underline that to tell you, to tell you that there's a different way of doing it. So a wallet contains one pound coins and five pound coins. There's a total of 56. 
and there are twice as many one pound coins as five pound notes. How many of each were there? Here, I'll, rather than doing it simultaneously, if you get something where something is, there's twice as many of them, then just lay it out like this. So you've got one pound and five pound. <coughs> so there's less of the five pound notes, so I'll call that X. And if they're twice as many um, one pound coins, so I'll make that two X, okay? Um, so that's the number of coins or notes. And this would be the value. So 2x times 1 is 2x, and then you've got 5 pounds times x is 5x, and the total will be 7x. Now you can see that there's a total of 56 pounds, so 7x is actually 56 pounds. So x would be 56 divided by 7, which is 8. Okay? And that seemed to be the easiest way of solving this problem. Um, and you can tell 2x would be 16 and 5x would be 40. Um, and the 16 plus 40 gives you the 56 pounds. OK, so um, this is just a sort of a shortcut rather than trying to do it simultaneously. All right. So you can tell that when you start doing these questions, um, some of them you, you've, you know you've got to do it simultaneously. Some you just find a shorter method of doing it. Okay, um, let's take this last one. If twice the age of the son is added to the age of the father, the sum is 56. But if twice the age of the father is added to the age of the son, the sum is 82. Find the ages of the father and the son. So again, let's say S is the age of the son. And F is the age of the father. Okay, so twice the age of the son. So 2S plus the age of the father is 56 and twice the age of the father plus the age of the son comes to 82. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange this. So um, I've got the it in S and F. So I've got S plus 2F equals 82. Okay, so then I've got this one and that one. All right. I'll multiply that by 2, so I've got two Fs. So I've got 4S plus 2F equals 112. And then I'll take these, and because the signs are the same, I'm going to minus, but again, I'm going to do it that way. So 4S minus S is 3S, just put that line. 3s equals 112 minus 82 is 30. So s equals 10. Okay, and then I'll go and solve it in here. So 2s, which is 20, plus f equals 56. And you can tell f would be 36. Okay. And let's go test it in there. So 2 times the father's age, which is 36 times 2, 72, plus the son's age, 72 plus 10 equals 82. All right. Um, I suggest doing these questions um, twice. And by then you'll be so um, aware of what kind of questions would come. And I guarantee you, if you get a simultaneous equations, it'll look like one of these. Um, so the wordy questions just won't overwhelm you. Yeah. Um, I love these wordy questions because they really stretch your brain. It's like a free mental workout. 
you can literally feel your brain cells exercising. <laughs> and remember an important topic, a uh, tip, sorry. If you don't know how to treat a letter, pretend it's a number and figure it out. Then treat the letter the same way. Same love, same respect. And keep practicing. Remember, you're in control of how you approach your learning, your studying, your exams, and what your future self will be like. Make good choices. All right? Take care. Until next time. Bye.